Hi, Harry Dent here on June 26th, Friday. Just a little wrap up for the week. First of all, stocks are going to get hit by something that they don't feel yet. It's called no more stock buybacks. I have shown over the last few years how stock buybacks have been the primary by far reason for the stock market going up almost all the net. I mean, over 90% of the net buying has been corporations buying their own stocks with, with cash flow they wouldn't have without stimulus and with super low interest rates to make that possible. So the, the reason the stock market has not felt this yet in this rebound is you have the dumb money. Small traders on Ameritrade and E-Trade, discount brokerage platforms, I have shown in recent articles on, on Harry's Take, they have four times the trades just in the last few months. And, and the biggest surge in call options buying. They're not just buying stocks, they're buying on super leverage. That has replaced the stock buybacks for now. How long will that last? Number two, I've shown this week, in the last week, gold is at a very critical point. It is at the top end of its range. A breakout above 1820 would be bullish, and we could see certainly a test of the highs at 1934 and, and even new highs, 2000 plus. So that, again, I explained the other day, that'd be very rare for us to have new highs, you know, nine years after the commodity, 30 year commodity cycle peak, because gold has always followed that. 1670 on the downside would, would confirm, oh, it's going to back off before it makes another try, maybe go to 1450. So very critical point. I know most people think gold is going to break up. I still lean towards it doesn't because it doesn't fit the fundamentals of a deflationary environment yet, but plenty of stimulus for gold to ride on. Okay. Uh, stocks, same thing. In a, in a channel up, like you always get final runs. And it looks like it's breaking down. I've been warning it looks like it would, but it would take a break a little below 9,700 on the NASDAQ 100 to confirm that. And then we could end up with a 15, 20% correction and, and be a very good buy opportunity uh, in the next uh, so many weeks or, or month at most. Um, the election, even Donald Trump's almost throwing in the towel of some statement I heard is that he's, he's almost accepted Biden's going to win. 37% of investors now think Trump will win the election. I mean, just a month or two ago, people still thought he'll pull it out. And you still can't count him out because he's the Donald. And he's shrewd. And he'll figure out something in plain. But it is, and I've been warning for weeks now, it is not looking good. He's not learning from his mistakes. And, and to say the markets has factored this in, baloney. Rising corporate taxes alone would knock down the stock market 20% permanently, not to take rising personal marginal rates on the richest people who buy and own the most stocks and drive the market. And finally, the virus. There's an intelligence test, folks, around the world given by the coronavirus. And guess who just flunked it? The U.S. Yes, we're the rich rednecks of the world. I hate to say it, but it's just the honest truth. Very obvious now, months into this, what works and what doesn't. Hey, we weren't the only ones to wait too long to react. China did. Only South Korea and, and, and Singapore and a few did. So that wasn't the, yeah, that's a problem. The problem is we're opening back up when cases were not falling off like other countries and starting to rise in a lot of states. And now they're rising everywhere, especially California, Arizona. Arizona, uh, Florida, and Texas. So how's, how's the economy going to keep recovering when even uh, Texas and, and California are rethinking how fast they reopen up? So again, the market is in total unreality. I think we're going to see a substantial correction here soon. And then we should, although not guaranteed, as I've been saying, see one final rally and it'll be around some another huge one, two, three trillion stimulus plan. And the U.S. is the best, worst house in this neighborhood. We've been the best house this whole 2009 to 2019 stimulus until now. We're out doing on fiscal and quantitative easing. And that's why the dollar is going down. So again, a lot of things we'll keep you updated on, exciting times and a lot of opportunities. But remember, we're in the transition from that first crash 
to the rebound where everybody thinks maybe it's okay, it will not be okay. 2021 is going to be, pardon my French, a suck year. So get ready for it.